Well, we were caught totally unprepared this morning again. Doorbell rang. It's Saturday. I didn't expect any workers to show up on Saturday. Furthermore, I thought it was the electrician. And it wasn't. They're putting in the new windows today. I mean, they're finishing up uh, by the end of the day. It'll be a closed in room. Gypsy Rose is once again alert and on the job with her usual efficiency. Tiny Bear, Tiny Bear seat being silly. Despite all the noise outside, she's decided to come out from underneath the bed skirt, which is her hiding place of choice. Teddy Bear. Sirocco's down. I guess after a while they just get tired or used to the noise maybe. A little bit. They probably also get hungry. I just put some food out for them. These guys have been here now about six hours. I'm not sure what, what's been done. I'm just staying out of the way. It's now after 5 p.m. and I'm not sure much how much longer we have here. Kitties have all come out of hiding to eat. I did give them a can of Fancy Feast. A little consolation. I tell you, these guys are really getting restless. They're almost as restless as I am. <laughs> I was just giving this little kitty some attention here. Everybody else wants attention. Nobody can go outside because the workers are still out there. It is now after 6 p.m. So it's been a long day. Sahara, you're so funny. She just found a little piece of foam ripper here. So she went and picked it up. I don't think that's a toy. I'm not sure what those things are. They came with uh, something I ordered. Just a packing thing, I think. A little squishy piece of foam rubber. I guess it's a kitty toy now. Current state of affairs on the sunroom. They were here last night until after dark, cleaning up, and they are going to have to come back today to do a little bit more work. Twelve hours yesterday they were here. Kitties and I all locked inside. They've got all the windows in. Where you see the black around the windows, there's going to be trim. You can see this one up here in the center has no black around it. That's because that they've finished the trim. Either that or there's no window up there. Yeah, they've got the window in and they've got the trim in. But they haven't got the trim around the ones that are showing black. The windows are so clean, I can't tell they're there. The uh, door 
is not working very well yet. So we're gonna have to work on it. Put on the hardware. Nuggets inspecting here. This is their cat door. They didn't have time to cut the hole for the cat door yesterday. Hopefully they'll do that today. You see they're showing up kind of late this afternoon so I hope there will be enough time. This great big ugly hose you see here is going to go back into the back of a air conditioning unit. This is the inside piece. It's called a ductless split AC or something along those lines. The edge of the roof is now nicely trimmed. This is the back side near the uh, kitchen window here. The AC hoses coming out of the top, once again, very ugly, but will be covered up. The AC guy will come back after they get the drywall in and finish this up. This is the outside unit, which is a kind of a nice little thing. It's about the size of a really big suitcase. Looks like they've got some trim to add here to the outside. You like this trim over here. I'm really very pleased with this. It's a nicely done little room. Drywall goes in on uh, Monday or they get started on it on Monday. After that it will be the floor, tile floor. By the way, no sign of the squirrel, so he must have made it out. The kitties would like you to know that they got a huge kick out of all of your comments on their squirrel adventure. Gypsy Rose takes exception to the comment that suggests she's not all fur and that she needs some exercise, having not caught the squirrel. However, she's agreed to an exercise program along with all of the others. No excuse for not catching one stupid squirrel.